gonna name the bar okay. because then everyone's gonna come follow me. Oh yeah, we don't want that. We don't want that. Missing out if they're not coming to CCW. My talent, of course. Look, guys, this is not ballet. It hurts. Hey guys, welcome back to another interview here on Toned In Entertainment. Today we're at CCW's one-year anniversary at Bash at the Brew, and I'm joined by Dante. Casanova. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm not too bad, man. I'm living the dream, you know? Yeah, here at CCW. Hey, man, what a place to be. Right? Yeah, man. Tell us a little bit about what happened in the ring tonight with you. Well, you know, I was... I came here, you know, hoping for a better outcome, but I got thrown in the rumble, and unfortunately, I got tossed out relatively early. To my dismay, you know, I wanted to be out there, and I, I, obviously I wanted to win. But, now, you know, not every day you're a winner. But, you know what, I'll definitely be back, and I'll definitely have a better outcome next time. What's the strategy going into a battle royal with just a bunch of crazy guys here at CCW? Got to be honest with you, man. You know, you can plan all you want, but the, the strategy just never actually work out because, you know, you're in there with a bunch of people. Anything can happen. Me, personally, I just want to get in there. I want to throw everybody out. Nobody gets in my way because I'm going to do some damage if you get in my way. But, unfortunately, that just doesn't pan out every time. That's right. I mean, it's like a crapshoot in there with a battle royal sometimes. Yeah, man. You know, sometimes you can't even move more than three feet without hitting somebody or getting hit by somebody, right. you know? So it's crazy out there. Speaking of hitting somebody, can you take me back to the very first day that you went in to train as a professional wrestler? What went through your thought when you walked through those doors? Oh, man, you know, it, it was it was very nerve-breaking. I was very, very nervous because I had never stepped in a ring before. I've always thought about doing it as a kid growing up watching you know, wrestling, but I always felt like it was a dream that was unachievable. But the day I decided to do it and the day I finally stepped in, my heart was racing, but I knew as soon as I stepped in that ring, that is where I belong. I belong in a ring. Now, what has got you to this place nowadays? Your training, your diet, like what are the keys to staying on top of your game as a professional wrestler? Honestly, just the, the, the grind. Everyone can say like, oh, you know, I, I want to do this because whatever the reason is, but for me personally, it's, it's my mindset. I have never been one to quit on something that I've always wanted to do. And this is something that I've, I'm meant to do. So there is no quit in my mindset. I can't have a single, even a single shroud of doubt in my mind. So that's what keeps me going, is the fact that I will never quit because I've never quit in anything in my life. So when it comes to dieting, every day eating the same thing, it might be boring, but you know what? The results are very evident. The gym, wake up 4.30 every morning before work to hit the gym. Even sometimes twice a day, so before and after work. And you go wrestle too every now and then in the ring, get your reps in, but it's just the mindset. That's what keeps me going and that's my drive, is my mindset because I refuse to be a quitter. What's a regular diet for you? What is, what is that boring meal that you're eating all the time? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it depends on what my my uh, my plan is for that specific time. Sometimes I'm cutting weight. Sometimes I'm bulking. At the, in the moment, I'm currently bulking. I'm doing a clean, lean bulk. So in the mornings, uh, I'll wake up 4.30, I'll hit the gym. Immediately after the gym, I'll have my post-workout shake, which is essentially a protein shake with bananas, two eggs, two, uh, a cup of oatmeal, um, and some creatine. That That's my first meal about 10 o'clock I'll have a protein bar uh, and then around 12 o'clock I'll have my my first boring meal which is essentially a cup of rice uh, about I would say about 150 grams of ground turkey with obviously some seasoning and just a couple of uh, steamed veggies and then fast forward to four o'clock it's a chicken breast with uh, I want to say about a cup and a half of shrimp and then at the evening time I go home after my day's work and I'll have a uh, one double stack turkey burger on an English muffin with uh, pepper jack cheese. You seem like you have it pretty well. I have, it, <laughs> I, I have it down to, you know, a science, essentially. You do? <laughs> so yeah, that's my meal every day, seven days a week, and that is why I call it boring, because it's boring, but I love it. I love it, I absolutely love it. Okay, now that we got through the boring stuff, let's talk about something fun. What would be your cheat meal? Ooh, see, that's a good one, because I go, I have, I rotate around three. So 
Usually it's um, stuffed crust pizza from Pizza Hut. I love stuffed crust pizza. I absolutely can, love it. Can I tell you we had that like two nights ago? Really? And you didn't invite me? I'm so sorry. Ironically <laughs> enough, two days ago was my cheat meal. It was two days ago? Yes. We were probably at the same Pizza Hut and we just ran right. You know what? I thought I other. recognized you Yes, I, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so it's usually Pizza Hut. Um, if, if not, then I'll probably swing by Taco Bell because Taco Bell, I don't care what anybody says, Taco Bell is the greatest fast food restaurant of all time. The greatest. I can eat that every day, no problem whatsoever. So Taco Bell, or eh, I, might, I might get restless and might want to watch some Sunday football. I'll go to Buffalo Wild Wings or Hooters and get some wings. You know, who doesn't love wings? Come on, tell, tell me wings are bad. I dare you to tell me that. I, I think me and you could be like best friends when it comes to eating wings, Taco Bell, and Pizza and Hut. And Pizza Hut with Boy, stuffed crust. You, you cannot beat that. You can't. You can't beat that. It's so crazy. Yeah, I haven't had Pizza Hut for years. They have that new spicy one because they advertise it during AEW. And I'm a sucker for commercials. Had to go out and buy it. And yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. I love it. You know, when, when it comes to eating every day, obviously I stick to the boring meals, but when it comes down to the cheat meal, I go in. Sometimes I'll have all three, you know? Who, who, what, what does it matter? I'm cheating, you know? Now, when you're not training, when you're not, you know, working out, when you're not wrestling, what are some of the things you like to do for fun? Gotta be honest with you, man. Um, much like my meals, I'm pretty much boring myself, too. I, 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 don't, I don't really like to go out. I'm very... Um, very reclusive. I like to be in my own space, in my own mindset. I don't like people messing with my energy. So I tend to be very reclusive, very uh, asocial. So I don't I don't necessarily go out much. If I do go out, I'll go out to one of maybe two or three uh, dive bars with my friends, or I'll go out and uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go to like a beach or something with a couple of friends. But for the most part, very regimented. I have like my set times for everything that I do and I don't really like going off schedule. So. I'll make time for uh, you know free um, for spending free time with my boys and whatnot, but for the most part, I'm very boring too. You know, <laughs> gym, wrestling, work, gym again, food. That's pretty much me. I mean, you have time, but for much as else, anyways, yeah, right? You know, you're not gonna get better if you're just goofing off. Right. Yeah. You don't have to name the bar, but maybe can you tell me maybe the city? I mean, if you want to name the bar, it's cool. Like, uh, where the best dye bar is. You know what? I'm not going to name the bar because okay. then everyone's going to come follow me. And oh, yeah. We don't want that. We don't want that. No, 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 no. So, no. No, but uh, I, I live in Orlando. I'm an Orlando native. So uh, in the, in the or downtown Orlando area is where I, I go for my recreational time. Now, you've had some AEW experience. Can you tell me about that? Experiences is the right word. <laughs> it's it's great, man. It, it's it's amazing. The locker room is is just a blessing to be in. You learn so much from so many people that you grew up watching, um, and just to be around people that are like even you, all of them are at the top of their game, but they're all very humble and very respectful and very giving. So like. I don't know how it is in other places, but when you go into an AEW locker room, they make you feel like you belong there and you are a part of a family. Because that's essentially what wrestling is. You're, all, you're just a big family. You know, we all went through the same thing. You know, we might not get along in the ring, but at the same time, like, we all know the experiences that we've been through and what we're going through and what it takes to get to the next level. So to be in that AEW locker room and to have someone like Sean Spears come up to me and talk to me like I'm an actual friend of his or whatever, it's just an amazing experience, you know? It, it makes me feel very, very welcomed. So that, that, that's what it's like to be in an AEW locker room. You feel welcome and embraced. I'm glad Sean Spears came up to you and had a nice conversation. They didn't hit you in the back of the head with a chair. Or I saw the interview he did with Chris Van Vliet where he chopped him like to a thousand pieces. So at least he was friendly with you. Yeah, and uh, ironically enough, he is my coach. He's the one that trained me oh, too. Oh, he's your coach too. Yeah, yeah. but you know, training, uh, being a coach and being you know a worker, two different things, you know? There's, there's gotta be boundaries, you know? So. Yes, he trained me, but at the same time, like, I want to be in his spot, so maybe I'll sneak up on him with a chair. I love that. Future goals for professional wrestling. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah, man. Future goals? Obviously, be signed one day. Okay. One day, be signed. Doesn't matter where, because wherever I go, I'm going to be on top. That's all that matters. Just be signed one day. And however long that takes me, if it takes me a day, a week, a month, a year, a decade, it'll happen one day. And when that day comes, I'm going for the mountaintop because that's where I belong. I love the confidence. I love the positivity. Hey, man, you know, if you're not confident, why are you doing this? Man? Right? And positivity. We got to stay positive out there. Oh, you got to be positive. A lot of crazy stuff, right, going on in the world. So. Absolutely, absolutely. But, you know, what? I always tell people, like, there's a lot of negative energy out there, but why let it affect you? You know, you can only control so much. If you can't control it, don't let it bother you. Be happy, you know? We're, what's the point of living in misery? Be happy. Smile, you know? Hug somebody. Give us a big smile. Give us a hug 
and tell us where people can look you up at. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at underscore Dante Casanova. No, that, I lied. That is my Twitter, underscore Dante Casanova, underscore. My Instagram is at the Dante Casanova, T-H-E-D-A-N-T-E-C-A-S-A-N-O-V-A. -E -E you can find me on Facebook at Dante Casanova. And that's pretty much my, my stuff. That's pretty much it. Follow Dante Casanova. Look at that right there. Look at that beautiful jacket. Who did your 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 wardrobe here? Uh, Who did some shout outs? Uh, JCJ Gear on Instagram. You can find him. He does amazing work. Uh, exhibit A. Yeah, he, he, uh, I know he's done work for multiple indie wrestlers in the Florida scene. He's done uh, work for some people that are signed in AEW. Definitely, JCJ Gear. I recommend him highly. I'm loving the gear. I'm loving the positivity. I'm loving what's in the future for Dante Casanova. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Guys, if you like interviews like this with Dante Casanova from here at CCW in Miami, Florida, make sure you stay tuned in here to Tone In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.